If you're having problems with animals getting into your garden, then stick around because I'm going to show you how to build an easy DIY garden enclosure that you can customize to your exact space and needs. Let's get started. Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jake and if you're new here, we like exploring creative ways to use ordinary materials so you can complete your DIY projects easier and faster. We like sharing customer builds, inspiration, tutorials, tips and tricks, and all kinds of videos like that. So if you're interested, please consider subscribing. We appreciate it. A lot of members of the community have built custom enclosures for their chicken runs or for their gardens. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you those. But first, we got to build ours. Now, the main part of the structure is conduit and maker pipe connectors. And I'll be sure to link all the other materials and tools down in the description. Now, the first step to any project is going to be cutting your conduit. And I've already cut my pipes into five foot lengths because my structure is going to be five by five. But remember, you can make this any size you want but if you make it more than five foot, then I would recommend adding bracing where needed. Before we can start building, we gotta make sure the enclosure is gonna be secured. There's two really easy ways to do it. The first method is by putting stakes in the ground and then sliding the conduit for the frame over top of them, or you can secure it to a raised garden bed with two hole straps. I have a small garden, so I'm gonna secure the enclosure in the ground with the stakes. A really easy way to know where to put the stakes is to put your conduit pieces on the ground end to end, and that's about where the connector will be so we know we can put the stake there. We've got all four stakes hammered into the ground. Now we can start building. We're gonna take four verticals and add them over top of the stakes. Now we're gonna take eight 90 degree connectors and build the main frame for the enclosure. I've pre-assembled the connectors to make it easier to slide over the pipes. And then we're just gonna connect everything together tight with the five millimeter hex wrench. Last week we made a video on eight different hinges and we asked the community to vote for the one they wanted to see in this enclosure. And they voted for the threaded pipe insert and threaded rod method. As you can see, I've added a pipe going vertically with two T-connectors and it's solid. On this side, we're gonna do the same thing except this pipe isn't gonna be solid all the way through. Using threaded pipe inserts and a threaded rod, we've created this hinge that will secure the top two pipes and the middle pipe will spin and open and close the gate. This will be the part that opens and closes and be our gate. Looks like it's gonna work pretty well. T connectors we've got the gate in place and like I said in the hinge video I hadn't tested this hinge method but I'm really excited with how it came out it opens and closes really smoothly and it's gonna be awesome for the enclosure but it's not gonna do us any good if the rest of the enclosure is still open so I've got this chicken wire here that I'm gonna wrap the outside and I'm gonna use zip ties to secure it to the enclosure and we'll be all finished all right guys as you can see it's all finished got the chicken wire wrapped all the way around and it's a little small but good thing I'm not living in here it's just to protect the plants from animals We've got the gate working great. It's really awesome. I secured the chicken wire with zip tie all the way around. It doesn't have to be pretty. Like I said, we're just keeping the animals out, keeping the garden safe. Guys, thanks so much for watching. This enclosure was inspired by community members because there's tons of amazing and custom enclosures that have been shared in the Connect community. I'm gonna put a few on the screen to end off the video. I can't share them all, but I encourage you to go to the community, check them out under the gardening and agricultural topic. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.